A number of people want to run tasks in the background on iOS and um, there's currently no way in live code to do that. In fact, um, the standard in live code is that the application completely shuts down and restarts next time the user opens it. Um, there is a workaround for that and I'll show you how to do that first because that's a prerequisite for using this new external merge VG task, merge background task. So the first thing we need to do is go into your applications folder and find live code. Here it is here. So um, now I'm I'm working on live code 5.5.3. It's a release candidate edition, but um, uh, this works the same for all the versions of live code. Uh, open the package contents. Go into contents. Uh, tools. Runtime. iOS. And and here I'll just yeah demonstrate on the simulator but it's it's the same for all the different devices and simulators. Go to the simulator and let's we need to open settings.plist. Now it's got a plist extension but it's not a real plist so if you double click on it it won't um, work so just drag it onto a text editor. Okay, in this file you'll see um, uh, that the, this is the template for the for the playlist for your app. Um, now the key we want to look at is um, what the key that makes the app exit on suspend. So here it is here. Now, so the standard thing that the app is going to do is uh, I don't think that there's no user setting for this they've got it set up so that one day they can have a user setting but they're, they're just um, setting this to true uh, by default uh, so what what we need to do is just delete that key um, before you do that you might want to copy live code uh, so that you're not messing with the uh, your, your standard version and then and then do it on your copy um, uh, name your name your copy so that you know um, that you've done this this edit. Uh, that so that that's all you need to do is just delete that that one key um, and uh, and then save the file. So I'll close that. Um, now I'll show you what happens when you run. Okay, so we've got two buttons here. One's um, without background task and one's with a background task. I'll show you first uh, without the background task um, what happens. Uh, so if you, it just it just adds every second it's adding one to the counter. Now because we're not exiting on suspend, if we if we close the app and then reopen it, you'll see that the counter. Um, retains its value and will continue on from where it left off. So for many people that might be uh, sufficient. Um, some people actually want some code to execute while the app is in the background. Um, so that's what this other button's for. So we'll just put a quit out of that. Now we want to test again. Okay, this time we're going to um, test the um, with um, background task button. You can see the same things happening, starting from one again, and um, it goes to the counter. Now I'll close the app, and if you come and have a look at our logs, that that log is still is still coming through. And when we reopen the app. The um, the counter will will be um, that much higher, so we'll we'll just let it get a bit higher and then open the app again and there we are, it's continued on. So that whole time it's been closed, 
that little bit of code has been to, to update that counter has been executing. Now here I'm actually up the this, the demo code is very simple. I'm, I'm actually updating um, that field, the contents of that field. You really shouldn't do that um, in background uh, tasks. You should only um, record the values, save them to your database. Just very, uh, the the bare minimum that you need to do um, without doing major user interface updates. Uh, you should use uh, Merge Notify to find out um, whether the app is is uh, in the background or not, and um, uh, and and then up, update the user interface only if it is. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is that your app doesn't have um, blocking tasks that will um, stop the the the, uh, the background task isn't 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 a blocking long running um, blocking uh, loop. Uh, you want to if you've got a long running loop that you need to run, uh, just make sure that somewhere in the in the loop you've got a a, um, a wait with messages so that the um, the end of the uh, background task uh, will um, uh, there's a, there's a when when the background task expires there will be a message um, that comes into the control that called the um, the start of the background task uh, and you need to make sure that um, that message can be accepted and if you need to start another background task at that point in time to continue on um, then uh, that's when that's when you need to do it so you need to be able to handle that message so you, you can't use a blocking task otherwise after about 10 minutes your background task will expire and uh, if it's blocking if you're using running blocking code then your app will just go into suspend, it won't be able to continue.